Hello everyone, good afternoon, good afternoon. So sorry to start so late. Okay, so I hope you all are doing well. And we are about to do a performance task. So I hope you have your pens, your paper, your books and everything ready to start working. Hope you all are doing well. All right, so remember that if you're new here, remember to subscribe so you know that whenever we start our live session, um, you can join in as well as if you're not new, thank you for your subscription and also share the live session so that your, your friends, your classmates who have not subscribed and did not know that we're having the session now, share so your other parents, colleagues, other parents, teachers and so on can know that we are going live and we're going to explore a performance task. I hope you have been doing some practices. All right, so let's begin with this session. So from our last performance task session, we would have discussed what a performance task is. We would have had the conversation that a performance task is a very, um, it's a connected, a multifaceted um, sort of a task where all the different parts are linked. So with this one, some of you would have seen it already in your classrooms, but a lot of you I know would not have done this as yet. So the one that we're going to explore this afternoon is called colorful walls. Let me see the hands of those. Let me see those who have done this one before. And also students who are new, we are doing this session on YouTube. It is not available on Zoom for anyone. So I'm the only one here and you will explore this on YouTube. So let's start reading what we have about this task, this performance task. So Randy is painting a room in his house. One wall will be blue, one wall will be red and two walls will be yellow. The question is, what fraction of the walls will be red? So go ahead, explore this item, work it out, and let me know in the, in the chat what fraction will be red. Again, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. So go ahead and share your answer in the chat as well as a brief explanation. All right, great. So I'm seeing a lot of persons saying a quarter. I'm seeing some saying a half. But if you have posted your answer once, no need to repeat. All right, so I want a sentence or two to explain how you came up with a quarter. Why did you select a quarter for your answer? All right, so I see David Harvey saying it's a quarter because one is going to be blue, another is two yellows, and the other is red, which is four walls, and one wall is red, which makes it one out of four. All right, great, David. I totally agree with you. I see Zara Thompson saying one wall blue plus one wall red plus two walls yellow equal four walls. So there is one part out of the walls that is painted red. So one out of four is red. Great, Zara. Um, I'm also seeing Nikara Johnson saying a quarter because there are four walls and one is shaded red. Awesome. Queen B says a quarter because there will be four walls and two is yellow and one is red. All right, and one is blue. All right, great. I see a lot of explanations coming up. I see Sky saying a quarter as well. 
and she has her explanation similar to the ones I've read before. And I'm seeing a lot of person, Omar Lincoln, I'm seeing a lot of persons saying that it is one fourth and their justifications are definitely the same. So of course, we have four walls, as you said, and one will be blue, one will be red, two will be yellow. So one fourth would represent red walls. Awesome. All right, so let us move on to the second one, or better yet, for those who might have not gotten the correct answer, let me just model something here to show you how you could have come up with your answer. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a shape to represent four walls. So here we have four walls. Here we have four walls and I will separate these four walls in four equal parts. So I'm gonna separate this big part here in four equal parts and that will represent the four walls. Cause normally, you know, a room has four walls and it did say here that one is blue, one is red and two is yellow. So that is telling us that it is four walls. So with that being said here, we know that one is blue. So I'm going to just go right ahead and I'm going to paint one wall blue. And then it says that one wall is red. So I'm going to paint one wall red. And you can go ahead as well. Um, if you get something similar to this that you have not seen before and you're unsure of the answer, you can go right ahead and draw something. And remember when you're doing your performance task exam, whatever work you have done to get your um to arrive at your answer, do not delete it. Do not erase it, leave it there so that your markers can see what you would have done. So, and it also said that two walls will be yellow. Awesome, so these would represent my four walls and I'm showing here one blue out of the four walls, one red out of the four walls and two yellow out of the four walls. Now I asked you before what fraction would be red and you said one fourth. Can you tell me what fraction would be blue? Can you tell me what fraction would be blue? You can represent, okay, so I'm seeing a lot of persons here telling me already what fraction will be yellow. So Alicia Finlayson is ahead of me. So we have one fourth will be blue. What fraction would be red? Awesome, definitely. One fourth will also be red. And for the yellow, we will have all right, so I see Finlayson say, um, would have explained or would have said that the yellow is two fourths. So let me hear from the others. What fraction represents the yellow? All right, Shinari Gaming says two fourths will be yellow. All right, I'm seeing Jermaine Patterson saying two fourths will be yellow. Shanai Barracks, two fourths. Michelle Hamilton, two fourths. I'm seeing many two fourths will be yellow. I'm seeing Kai saying two fourths yellow. Are... All right, awesome. So definitely one and two fourths would represent yellow. Great job. All right, now I see that we're all equipped enough to move on to our next question. And remember, each question, you must provide an explanation. So for those who did not really understand this so far, go ahead, take a screenshot and do your further exploration. So I'm gonna clear what's on the screen now and we move on to the next question.
All right, so the second part is, it takes Randy 30 minutes to paint one wall. He started painting at five o'clock and stopped at 6.15 to eat dinner. If each wall takes the same time, um, same amount of time, how many walls will he be able to paint in that time? So go ahead, do your exploration and send your answer here in the chat as well as a little justification. All right, so remember the question asks, how many walls will he be able to paint? So your answer should be written um, telling me how many walls. All right, so I'm seeing persons saying two and a half. I'm seeing lots of persons saying two and a half. I'm seeing Josiah Lamy saying one hour, 15 minutes. But remember, we're seeking to get answer talking about the walls. All right, so remember now with your responses, I want a justification. I need some explanation as to why that is your answer. So I'm seeing uh, Janoya Thomas saying two and a half. Two and a half what? And I see she um the, she said equals to one hour and 15 minutes. But you have to say, if you say two and a half, are you talking about walls? Are you talking about hour? Are you talking about minutes? Sky says two walls because you can add the 30 minutes to the time like this, five o'clock plus 30 minutes equal 5.30. And then you do 5.30 plus 30 equals six o'clock. All right, so Sky, you would have said that, but remember that he stopped he stopped painting at 6.15. So that means while he would, have, he would have painted two walls, yes, in that one hour, he has 15 minutes more. All right, so Zara says he would paint two walls. All right, Alexia Grant says 15 walls. Stella Kitten. One and a half walls, I'm seeing two and a half from Janoya, two and one fifth from Orlandia Isaacs. So let me see the different responses we have here. I'm seeing two and a half being very popular. I see Queen Louis saying two fourths. Simone says two, okay, you're responding to the yellow, okay. All right, all right, two and a half walls. All right, so Zoe Friend says two walls because if you divide 615 by 30, you get one hour. So that is 30 times two equals 60 minutes. That is one hour. That is what Zoe French is saying. Ashana FI says two and a half hours. And I, she said she says that because between five and six, that is two walls. And then there is half of 30 minutes, which is 15 minutes. So then there will also be half of another wall. Awesome. Awesome. Great. So I'm seeing a lot of nice explanations here. And I realized that many of you would either be familiar with this question or you are just becoming really good at responding to performance task items. Great, so I'm just gonna go right ahead and I'm going to do some exploration for those who are not yet understanding to see what we are doing. So I'm seeing Melissa Stanley says two thirds. So let us go and work this out. So based on what you guys would have said, you would have, you know, you would want to see how much, how many minutes or how long it is from five o'clock to 6.15. And if you, if you do your calculations, whether you're going to count by um, R4 or you're going to say five o'clock to six o'clock is one hour and then 15 more minutes, and then you convert that to full minutes, then that is also a lovely way of um, of um, deciding what this is. Or you could do some subtraction of the time here, five o'clock from 6.15, and you would still end up with your 
one hour and 15 minutes. So however you decide to work that out, whether you're going to keep adding 30 minutes or you're going to do some subtraction, or you can use other ways. You can look at your clock and you can count around to see how many minutes. However you decide, whatever you have decided, most likely you would come up with this response. So between five o'clock and 6.15, that would be one hour. Let me just write that here. One hour and 15 minutes. And one hour and 15 minutes is the same as what in minutes? How could we write this time in just minutes? All right, so we know that 60 minutes are in one hour. And that 60 minutes now plus the 15 minutes we have would give us 60 plus 15, 75 minutes. So we have 75 minutes here that we're working with. Thank you, Michael John, um, Johnson. All right, so I'm seeing Kenisha Daily, one hour, 15 minutes. Awesome. So Tanya says 75 minutes as well. Kaylin. Michael Johnson, Shanari, Andre Osborne, Ashbourne. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of persons, Zaquan Burke, you know, Aquain. I'm seeing a lot of persons in 75 minutes, and indeed you are correct. Now, remember it says that Randy um, take, takes 30 minutes to paint one wall. So you can definitely go ahead and tell me what kind of operations you could use here. What could you do here to figure out? You have your 75 minutes. What are the different methods you could take to solve this, to, um, to figure out how many walls he can paint in that 75 minutes? All right. Of course, you can keep subtracting 30 minutes from 75. So you'd subtract 30 minutes from 75, and that would leave... 45 minutes so you take 30 minutes again from that 45 minutes and that would leave 15 minutes all right so i'm seeing person saying subtraction subtract minus definitely we can do that but also we can divide thank you sherry k clark we can also divide so aquain says divide 75 or divide 30 into 75 so we want to see how many groups of 30 minutes we can get from 75 minutes so in 75 minutes, when we divide 30 into 75, we would have gotten two walls and 15 minutes more. So if 15, if 30 minutes is taken, just paint one wall. It means that half of 30 minutes, which is 15 minutes, you would need that. You would use that to paint half of a wall. And so you can paint two walls and you can paint half of another wall. All right, so definitely your response would be two and a half walls. All right, so for those who didn't get this at first, you can go ahead, you can take a screenshot and you can revisit this at some point. And of course, this recording will always be there. So you can always go back, check your answer and go through it in your own time. Pause and play again and on, until you understand. All right, great job. All right, so let us move on to another part of this question. All right, I'm seeing a lot of persons telling me how to solve this. Great job, guys. I see Ashana FI even used decimal to solve it. And she said 2.5. That is indeed correct. So 2.5 is good as well as two and a half. Great job. So now we're at the part where the paint store is having a sale on paint. Each color comes in four liter containers that cost $12. Three eighths of a liter of paint is needed to paint each wall. Randy has $40 to spend. Based on the information given, will Randy have enough money? 
And then you are going to tell me, how do you know if he has enough money or if he doesn't have enough money? So you're going to tell me yes or no if he has enough money and tell us why you think so. So that means you're going to be explaining to me some sort of a explain, um, calculation that you would have done. All right, so go ahead and remember that whatever you have done so far is very important for you to consider when you're answering this number three. All right, so of course you're saying he does, but what is your explanation for that? All right, so persons are saying he has enough, but persons are saying he doesn't. So let me see what justification someone, um, some of you have. So Kimoni Harris says no, because he painted four walls and each wall is $12 and he only has $40. All right, all right, so I'm seeing that. Let me see now, Sky says no, Missy doesn't have enough money because when you add 12 four times, you get 48. You can also multiply 12 by 4 to get your answer. All right, so I'm seeing Satana says 41 divided by 8 is 5. I think she means 40 divided by 8 is 5 with 1 remaining. Oh, wow. So you're, I, I see you're using 41 Satania Coombs. I'm not sure you got that number from. So go ahead and recheck what you have. All right, Michael Johnson says 12 times 3 equals 36. So 40 times, 40 take away 36 equals $4 change. So yes, he would have enough and we'll get back change. JR's World saying yes, because 3 times 12 is 36. So he will have enough change. All right. Okay. So I want someone to tell me. So basically... I'm seeing where persons are giving two different answers. And I want to bring something to your attention. So even though he's painting four walls, he only needs how many color of paint? How many color of paint will he need to buy? Tell me how many colors will he need to buy? What are the colors of paint that he'll need to buy? All right, so I see Ashana FI saying he does not because four liters is $12 and three of a liter of paint is needed for each wall. So he will need four cans of paint. Then that would be 12 times, which is $48, which is which gone over. All right, so I want persons to tell me what colors of paint will he need to buy? All right, so Alicia says the yellow, blue, red. Definitely, 
he only needs three colors of paint. Remember, you know, he's painting four walls. One will be in red, so I need a red paint. One will be in blue, so I need blue paint as well. And two of the walls will be in yellow. So he needs yellow paint. He needs three color paints. Now it says that each color comes in four liter containers that cost $12 each. So three eighths of a liter is needed to paint each wall. Tell me, will he need one liter to paint each wall? Will he need less than one liter to paint each wall? Will he need more than one liter to paint each wall? What do you say? Does he need less than one liter to paint each wall, more than one liter or one liter exactly? And also remember it says three eighths of a liter. So I'm seeing Michelle Hamilton saying more than one liter. I'm seeing Alexia saying more than one liter. I'm seeing Raj Channel saying less than more. I'm seeing a lot of friends saying more. And I'm seeing more. I'm seeing Satania saying less than. I'm seeing a lot of friends saying more and some saying less than. Now let's think about it. If it says three eighths of a liter of paint is needed. So in one liter, can you tell me what three eighths of a liter would really be? How much paint is that? How much paint is three eighths of a liter? Can we go ahead and even try to respond to that? Three eighths of a liter, is that even half of a liter? Is it more than a liter? Is it exactly a liter? Because I'm seeing parents saying more than, less than, but I'm wondering if you're thinking about it. So say, for example, we have a liter and I'm going to just use, all right, I'm going to use like a little rectangle to represent one liter. So let's use this to represent one liter. And I'm also going to show half liter. Oh. So I'm going to show half liter about here might be half, might not be exactly half, but this is this represents half of a liter. Now it says three eighths of a liter. So let us divide this one liter representation into eight equal parts, because now that is where we're going to look at three eighths to see if it's going to be more than a liter, less than a liter or exactly a liter. So I'm going to divide this into eight equal part and, and parts, and then we identify three eighths. All right, so these are not um, drawn by scale, but they all represent one eighth. All right, so this is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eighths of a liter. Is eight eighths, tell me what eight eighths would represent though. If we have, if all of this represents a liter and we are using all of the eights, would, what was, would that represent? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of person saying, okay, I'm seeing a Shana FI saying, all right, 38 liters. Think about that, a Shana FI or 0 0.75 liters, all right? I agree with your last part right there. All right, so here we have eight equal parts and we're just going to go ahead and identify three of these eights. So I'm just going to use a different color and I'm going to identify three eights. So this is one eight, this is two eights, and this is three eights. So you are seeing three eighths represented here. Remember now this whole rectangle, red rectangle I'm showing represented one liter. Can you now tell me if three eighths, which we have identified here, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, if it's less than a liter, equal to a liter or greater than a liter? Let me know what you, what you think.
Definitely. It is less than a liter. If it was actually a whole liter, then of course all of this would have been shaded. And the whole liter would be represented by what? As a fraction. As a fraction, how would you represent a whole liter? All right, definitely it is less than. So I'm seeing Michelle Hamilton telling me that eight eights would represent one liter. Now, Ajani Walter says eight. Remember, eight would mean eight holes. So you have to be showing me this as fraction. So we have eight equal parts here. And to represent one liter, we would say eight eights. Awesome. I see a lot of persons coming in with this. Great job, guys. I'm really excited to see that you are posting eight eights. So all eight out of the eight equal parts would represent one liter. So definitely you can see here that three eighths of a liter of paint is less than one liter. So it means here then that with the walls that he's going to paint red, he doesn't need any more than the one container. All right, so it needs only one four liter container of paint, and that is twelve dollars. I'm just going to write my write my twelve dollars right here, and my twelve dollars here represents red paint. Now he needs the same amount because he's only going to paint one wall blue. So if he's going to only paint one wall blue, it means that whatever amount he's going to pay for the red paint is going to pay the same for the blue paint because clearly if it's the same size container of paint and if the red paint in one container could have painted one wall it means that the blue paint can also paint one wall all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to right here again note that i'm going to spend 12 dollars now on a blue container of paint All right, so let us think about the yellow paint now. So remember that, all right, I'm seeing a lot of persons still saying it's less than one liter. Great, I'm happy that you guys would have noticed that. It doesn't even reach half liter. Thanks, Michael Johnson. It don't even reach half of a liter. So definitely, it's way less than, you know, one liter. So now that we have indicated that 12, we only need one container, one four liter container of red paint that will cost $12. And we're we're only going to need one four liter container of blue paint that will cost $12. So, so far, you would spend $12 plus $12, $24. But remember now that he's also going to paint walls yellow. And in this case, he's going to paint two walls yellow. So if he's going to paint two walls yellow and one wall takes three eighths of a liter of paint, how many how much would what fraction would represent two walls of a liter of paint what fraction would represent two the two yellow walls of a liter of paint all right so i'm seeing shawain ellis saying two yellow so let us take this um step by step so we can um notice we can see whether or not we are going to need two yellow i'm seeing damien white says he's going to spend 24 dollars for yellow 12 dollars plus 12 dollars, which is 24 dollars now let us think about this all right thank you zoya holt and nair johns nathan carter where you said six eighths and some prince said three quarters so he's going to need six eighths of um liter of paint for the two yellow walls. Cause remember, you know, one wall is three eighths. So one yellow wall is three eighths. Just write our three eighths here. And another yellow wall is three eighths. So if we add a much paint, we need to paint one of the yellow wall with, plus the, the amount we need to paint the other yellow wall with, what would we really get here? We have a three eighths plus three eighths. That would give us six eighths. And some persons went right ahead and did um, and 
made an equivalent fraction, they simplified it into its simple um and wrote it into its simplest form, three quarters, and that is good as well. So you would notice now that we need six eighths liter of paint to paint the yellow walls. Is six eighths liter more than a liter, less than a liter, or equal to a liter? Let me hear what you think. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of responses coming in, but I'm not sure um, what if you're responding to this question. I'm asking you if six eighths less than a liter equal to a liter or more than a liter. Remind me again, what fraction represents one liter? So you need to think about what fraction represents one liter. I'm seeing person saying yes, um, less than, some person saying more than. So I want you to be reminded of what one liter would be represented by. Definitely. So one liter is represented by eight eighths. So if we have eight eighths representing a liter, but we only need six eighths of the liter, it means that we don't need a whole liter. We need less than a liter still. So we only need less than a liter of yellow paint to paint the two walls. That means do we need one container of um, one four liter container of yellow paint or do we need two container of yellow paint? Because if you're going to use less than one liter to paint both walls and each container having four liters, do we need one container of yellow paint or do we need two containers of yellow paint? Let me see what you think in the chat. Definitely, it's less than a liter. So tell me, how many? Okay, I'm seeing Ethan saying two containers. All right. So we, he's saying we, we need two containers. I see two coming in and one coming in, but I don't know what you're responding to. Alexia Grant says two containers. Justin, two containers of yellow paint. All right. Two containers. Now I'm seeing a lot of persons saying two containers. In fact, I'm seeing almost everyone saying two containers. All right. Now Jermaine says one container. I see Tanisha McLean says one container. Um, and Koshi, one container. And I'm seeing a few more persons now. Winston Wallace saying one container. Now remember now, guys, if six eights represents less than one liter. Let's think about this. Six eighths of a liter represents less than one liter. And one container has four liters in it. You need less than one liter to paint both yellow walls. So it's not less than, it's not six eighths for each wall, you know. It's six eighths in all for those two yellow walls. So if you only need, if you need less than one liter to paint your two yellow walls, I mean, do you need two four liter container of paint? Because now you would end up with eight liters. Do you need so much paint? Did you even need the whole four liter container um, of paint to paint those two yellow walls? We have to think about that. Because if we need, if it's six, if six eighths means less than a liter, I'm going to put it right here, less than one liter. If six eighths means less than one liter, and this is the amount they need to paint two walls, it is simply saying to us that we just need to buy one container of yellow paint. We just need one container of yellow paint. Cause we're still going to have some left over. Definitely we're gonna have three full liters left over plus some from the one liter that we are painting from. So definitely right here we can we can um note that. We only need one yellow container of paint. So we're going to have our $12 because it's $12 for each container. So now we have $12 for red, $12 for blue, $12 for yellow. Because we need less than a liter for all of these amount of paint. All right. 
So if we are going to buy one blue container, um, one um, set up one container of blue paint, one container of red paint, and one container of yellow paint, how much money will be will we be spending on paint? All right. Yes, definitely, Benjamin. It's not needed to have two containers of yellow paint. Of course not, because we're not even going to use one liter out of the four liter container anyway. So why are we buying two? You know, we just need one. Definitely Alicia Grant, $36 we're going to spend. So when we add these 12 or three times here, so or we multiply 12 by three, we get $36. He's going to spend $36 on paint. And will he be able to afford to spend, spend the $36 on paint with the money he has? All right, so I'm seeing person saying he's going to have a four dollars left over. Right, so he can afford to spend thirty six dollars because it's forty dollars him have to spend. So he can afford to spend thirty six dollars, and of course he will have four dollars left over. Now, guys, I don't want to really move on to the next question as yet because I see that some persons are still not understanding that we only need one four liter container of paint and think about it because if the containers did come in smaller size and it's not only four liter container of paint they're selling we could really buy just one liter of paint for each color we could buy one liter of paint for red because we need less than a liter um, of, of red paint we could have bought one liter of paint for blue because we need less and we need less for the yellow paint as well. So really and truly, we could buy less than, we could buy just a one liter for the yellow as well. So we can spend, we, we don't need two four liter containers of paint. We just need one of the containers. And we're going to have one liter paint to leave. All right, students. So I hope that uh, um, the persons who didn't really understand, understand now. So our answer is, will he have enough money? Yes, he will. How do we know? And we have done a lot of calculations and we have done a lot of justification to show that, yes, we know that he will have enough money because we show the calculation of the red paint, the blue paint, the yellow paint, how much money all of those will cost, how much money he has. And we have also done the difference of this. So I'm really happy that we're able to explore this part of the question because whatever is coming next, the understanding that we have here is very pertinent, very important to answer the next questions. All right, so let us move on to the next question. So for those who did not, um, who have not gotten the answer yet, please take a screenshot here. And remember, you can go back on the video and you can go back on the question as well and listen to the explanation, listen to what other persons would have said and make your corrections and try your best to get your understanding. Awesome. So remember now, guys, whenever you're doing your performance task exam, you see, it, you see where I had to draw this thing to show something here and I had to write down $12 for red, $12 for blue, $12 for yellow, and I do all of these kind of calculations. Remember, do not rub out, do not erase your calculations. Don't erase whatever you did to come up with the answer because the persons who are marking your paper need to see what you have done. All right, so remember to take a screenshot. I'm going to move on to the next question. All right, so we have we're at number four, and we are only have five questions. So we are at number four, and then we will go to another one. If we have time, um, we might try another performance task, or you can meet me next week Saturday. Um, I will let you know the time, perhaps about five o'clock, or could be at midday. So ensure that you subscribe because you know that will ensure you will you will definitely get a, a notification if I decide to come on at 12 or at five. So the question reads, Randy wants to paint his bathroom with the leftover paint. 
each wall in the bathroom takes two fifths of a four liter of a four liter container of paint. Each wall will be painted solid yellow, blue, or red. At least two colors of paint will be used in the bathroom. Some of each color of paint should be remaining after painting the bathroom. Now, what is asked of you here is to describe two possible combinations of wall colors Randy could use in the bathroom for his four bathroom walls. All right, all right, all right, guys. <laughs> I'm seeing what you're saying in the chat, all right? So there is something that we must think about here before we even get to this question. All right, so we need to look at the question or the task sentence by sentence. All right, thank you guys. If you have subscribed already, no need to go back and subscribe. All right, because if you go back and subscribe, it means you'd have unsubscribed and you won't know when you come live again. All right, so the first sentence is Randy wants to paint his bathroom with the leftover paint. No, you need to be able to tell me what is the leftover paint. So before we go any further in the question, let's take it bit by bit. You need to now tell me based on calculations, how much of the red paint is left over after it's through painting his room? How much of the yellow paint is left over? How much of the blue paint is left over? So I'm just going to be here for a while. I'm going to look at your responses coming in the chat. I want you to tell me how much of the blue paint was used and how many left over, how much of it left, of, left over, how much red was used, how much is left over, how much yellow used, how much is left over. Now, you're not going to give me your responses here in fractions. You are going to give me your responses here in that unit that you use to measure paint. So we measure paint here in liters. And if we don't measure anything in liters, we can measure it in um, kiloliters or we can measure it in milliliters or centiliters or deciliters, you know, all of those. So you are now going to tell me how much paint is left over for each color. Remember, your answer cannot be just fraction. When you're finished, um, Sashiki, you just go right ahead back on the channel and you will see one. All right, so tell me how much blue paint is left over. You guys saying two eights and so on, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the quantity of paint left over. All right, so I'm seeing Charismatic Matthew and the, the Tari Townsend saying 2.8 liters. What do you mean 2.8 liters? How much liters was used? So you need to tell me how, um, how much paint was used and how much left because you're saying 2.8, but I don't know what that means. So you might need to write your answer in a sentence so I know what you're referring to because I'm asking you to tell me how much blue paint was used, how much blue paint is left. Please respond in a sentence so we know. So if it is that we bought a we bought four liter of blue paint and we use three eighths of one of the liter, you might need to think about what is three eighths of one liter. All right, so three eighths of a liter for red or for blue or so, what would three eighths of a liter be? So now, given that, remember, 3 8 is less than a liter. So what unit could we use then? If 3 8 of a liter is less than a liter, what unit would you use? What would be the best unit to use to represent less than one liter? All 
All right, so I'm looking in the chat. I'm not okay. I'm seeing Levon Logan says milliliters. So definitely milliliters is the best unit to use because milliliters is less than liter, right? So we can use milliliters. All right, so um, Raj Kajar channel says milliliters as well. Awesome, we can use milliliters, not meters, guys, milliliters, because remember, we're, we're measuring liquid here. So milliliters is what we would use to represent less than a liter. So how could we go ahead, um, go about finding what three eighths of one liter is? So first we need to know how many milliliters there are in one liter. So how many milliliters make one liter? All right, I'm seeing 1,000 milliliters here. All right, welcome from Troja Primary and Infant Canela. All right, so remember, we can't just write 1,000 or 100 or 10. We have to write the unit. So 1,000 milliliter makes one liter. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put that right here on the board so we'd never lose sight of that. So I'm going to write it right here. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Definitely. So now that we know that 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter, can we go ahead and find three eighths of that 1,000 milliliter? All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start by setting this out. So we're going to find three eighths of 1,000 milliliter. For us to do our calculation, we might want to replace the off with an operation. What could we repl replace the off with? In mathematics, when we say off, what do we mean? What operation could we use to rep replace that off? All right, Adrian says, Adrian Shaw says multiply, and so does Alexia Grant. All right, I'm seeing Christina saying multiply, Ajibiki Smith saying multiply, Richard. All right, awesome. I'm seeing a lot of you saying multiply, and you are definitely correct. In mathematics, off means multiply, so it means three eighths multiplied by a thousand. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to erase this off and I'm going to replace it with multiply now we're working with fractions here so we want to write 1000 as a fraction and to do that we're just going to put our fraction bar or our vinculum and we're going to write it over one so this is how we can change 1000 into a fraction by writing it over one thank you guys we replace off with multiply and now we have done that we can do some cross multiplication All right, so I have not worked it out yet, but I am here looking at Ashana, Ashana Fi and Jada Johnson already telling me that we have 375 milliliters. And indeed you are correct. So let us go ahead for the others who have not yet calculated this. And um, Ramira Reese, your answer is not complete without its units, all right? All right, I'm also seeing Marishka Pinnock saying 375 milliliters. So those students have already gone ahead and done some cross multiplication. Now, we want to find the highest number. We 
we need to find the highest number that we can use to divide into the eight without leaving a remainder, as well as the 1,000 without leaving a remainder. What number is that? What number is that, that we can use to divide into the eight without leaving a remainder as well as the 1,000? Because we can't use the three here because you'd realize that, you know, a three has no multiple here. All right, so I see the Vashia James saying four. I'm seeing Nathan saying eight. Tanisha McLean saying four. I'm seeing Adrian saying two. But okay, Nathan, Mackenzie. A lot of persons here are saying eight. I'm seeing some saying four, some saying two. All right, definitely we can use four. And most definitely we can use eight. And we can also use two. But we want the largest one, right? So let's try eight. Eight is the largest number I see you guys telling me. Because eight can go into itself um, without leaving a remainder. So let's try eight into eight goes one time. And eight into 1,000 goes how many times? When you divide eight into 1,000, what do you get for your quotient? Looking for your responses in the chat. All right, so I'm seeing charismatic Matthew saying 125. Zaquan Burke says 125 as well, as well as Mackenzie Bailey. Zoe French. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of persons saying eight from the previous question asked. But now I, okay, good. I see persons saying 125 now. So when you divide eight into 1,000, we get 125 and there is no remainder. So that means eight was a perfect number to use, right? Because there is no remainder. So now that we have this, we're going to rewrite this now with, the, with what we have left. So we have three as a numerator here. Let me just write that down. And we have 125 as another numerator. So I'm going to write 3 multiplied by 125. And at the bottom, we have, and I'm going to write this because some persons might not get it yet, but at the bottom, we have 1 multiplied by 1. So we're going to rewrite that as well. So three multiplied by 125 will be 375. All right, Alicia Finlayson says 375. I'm seeing Tanisha McLean saying the same thing. So three multiplied by 125 is 375. And one multiplied by one, is one, but we don't need to write back that one because 375 over one is the same as 375. So definitely, that means we would have used 375 liters of paint and I'm gonna, milliliters of, of paint rather. I'm going to make note of that. So Randy used 375 milliliter of blue paint. What about red paint? Did he use the same amount for red paint? So he also used 300 I mean, 375 milliliters of red paint. I'm going to make note of that right here as well. So Randy used 375 milliliters of red paint. Now, I want you to go ahead and work out 
how much milliliter of paint he of yellow paint he used. So tell me how much how much yellow paint did he use? Because now you know you really need to know how much paint he used so that you're able to decide or calculate how much paint is left over. So how much yellow paint did he use? All right, so I'm seeing where Raj Kajar, and I hope I'm calling your name correctly, channel, says 750 milliliters. I'm seeing Alexia Grant says 125 of yellow paint. Now remember, Alexia, your unit is very important. 125 watt of yellow paint. You need to write your units. Okay, I'm seeing Leandre saying one, 750 milliliters. I'm seeing Matthew Mullins saying 700, Kimoni 700, Lisa P Pollock says 760 milliliters. Now, guys, remember, all right, so your units are there, awesome. So I'm seeing a lot of persons saying 750 milliliters of yellow paint. Zoya holds. Thank you for writing your answer in a sentence so you know what you're responding to. 750 milliliters of yellow paint. All right. So let me go right ahead and work this out for other persons to understand. So remember that we do two, wall, two walls of paint in two walls yellow. And each wall takes 375 milliliters of paint. So no, we have decided that we have worked out and figured out, say yes, Randy used 375 milliliters of blue paint for one wall, 375 milliliters of paint, of red paint for another wall. So that means for one yellow wall, he would use 375 milliliters. And for the other, he would use 375 milliliters. So one way of solving this is to add 375 milliliters to itself or to multiply 375 milliliters by two, or you can go ahead and solve it by saying six eighths of 1000 or six eighths of, you know, so you can go ahead and you can figure that out. So I'm just going to work that here as well. Let me get a different color. Not erasing that yet for the persons who might have just joined, at least they could get the calculations here. So remember now, three eighths plus three eighths for the yellow walls is six eighths. So we can find six eighths of a liter to see how much paint that is. Remember off is the same as multiply. So we could have written this as well. All right, so. And we write this as a fraction over one. And we are done our cross multiplication before. So we say eight into itself goes one time, eight into a thousand goes 125 times. And now we're left with the numerators at the top, six times 125 and one times one. So six times 125 over one times one. When I multiply six times 125, we would get 750 milliliters. So therefore we have 700, I'm gonna write it up here, 750 milliliters of yellow paint. All right, awesome, great. So let us make note of that as well, like we have done the others. So we're going to write 
Randy used 750 milliliters of yellow paint. So now that we know all of this, we know how much paint to use for each of the color. Can it now tell me what the leftover is? How much red paint is left over? How much blue paint is left over? How much yellow paint is left over? Respond in a sentence so I know which paint you're talking about, all right? Yes, Damani Bailey, we can see your messages. All right. Um, all right. So I'm seeing Kaylin Morrison doing some explanations there. We could multiply or we could add 375 twice. Great. So now I want you guys to respond to this. How much blue paint is left? All right. So I see where you have 650 milliliters of red paint left over Raj Kajar. But remember that it's a four liter container of paint that Randy bought. So Randy bought four, lit four liters of red paint, four liters of blue paint, four liters of yellow paint. So how much paint is left over if these are the portions, you know, that he used? Yes, we can add, but add what? So you have to know what you're adding. All right. So I'm seeing charismatic yellow. Um, Matthew saying 2,500 milliliter plus 1,500 is equal to 4,000 um, liters. I don't understand about your, your calculations, though. So you can perhaps give me a little more clarity on what you're saying. All right, so, all right, let me just give you a few more minutes to come up with the answer before I start to explain. In the meantime, I'm going to erase the calculations that we have. All right, so I'm seeing Jermaine Gordon saying 3,625 of red and blue paint is left. What is the unit they're talking about? Is, does this mean each red paint and blue paint each or both of them together? I'm not seeing the, calculations, the, the calculation there. I'm seeing though, Raj Kajar channel says 350 milliliters take away 4,000 liters. So you kind of want to switch those around. But you're taking out the 300, and it's not 350 there. Remember, it's 375 we're working with. So the 375 milliliters from the 4,000 liters. And he says we're left with 3,650. So you need to check the numbers that you're working with. All right, so let me see other responses here with an explanation. All right, so yes, you would have calculated um, 1,500 to say that you use 1,500 milliliters of paint, but we're talking about for each color. All right, so all right, I'm seeing persons writing an answer without the units. Tanisha McLean, I see you have 4,000 milliliters take away 376. 
I think you meant 375, but you need to put your units there. So persons would have gone ahead. All right. So you say we have 3,250 milliliters left for yellow and 3,625 milliliters left for red and for blue. All right. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of persons getting the hang of it. So I, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to do some calculations so that persons can see. So remember now, it was a four liter container of paint. And that means we're talking about, if it's four liter, it means it is 4,000 milliliter because if one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter, it means four liter is the same as 4,000 milliliters. So four liters... is equal to 4,000 milliliters. Okay, so now that we know that we have 4,000 milliliter of paint in all, this is what Randy bought, uh, Randy bought 4,000 milliliter of blue paint and he used 375 milliliters of that. So in order to find that, we have to subtract. So we're going to say 4,000 milliliter and we're subtracting 375 milliliters from that. And that gave us a difference of 3,625 milliliters. All right, so I'm seeing Ashley, Maga. I'm seeing a lot of persons now coming with that calculations. Remember, we can't leave out our unit students cannot leave out our units. I cannot stress this enough. We cannot leave out our units. So it means that of red paint, we have 3,625 milliliters of red paint left. The same we have of the blue paint because the same amount we use out of red paint and blue paint. So we have, so I'm going to write a sentence at the end here to say 3,625 milliliters of blue paint left. And it's the same thing. So I'm going to write here again for red paint, 3,625 milliliters of red paint left. And I'm writing all of this in details because that's how I want you to, your, you to answer your questions and to write your answers in, in much detail like this. All right, so Randy used 750 milliliters of yellow paint. So to solve that or to work that out, we would do something very similar to what we did with the other paint. So here we're going to have, we know that four liters already is equal to 4,000 milliliters. So we're going to take out the amount of yellow paint that Randy used from the 4,000 milliliter that he bought. So we have 4,000 milliliters of paint. And we'll put our subtraction sign, 750 milliliters of yellow paint was used. And that will give us, thank you, Michael. And, and I see a lot of persons um, posting the correct answer. All right. So. Remember, it's a lot of you, and I won't really see all the responses. All right, so 4,000 milliliters take away 750 milliliters will give us a difference of 3,250 milliliters of yellow paint. That is what we have left. So 350 milliliters of yellow paint left. All right, awesome. So we have figured out how much yellow paint is left. 
how much blue paint, how much red paint is left. And that is what we need to do before we can answer this question. We must know how much paint was used and how much left. So now it says each wall in the bathroom. So we have finished with the first part of the question. I'm just going to put a tick there to say that, yes, we finished with the first part of the question. So we work on here, so already. So now it says each wall in the bathroom takes two fifths of a four liter container of paint. So if it takes two fifths for the bathroom, now we know it takes two fifths of a four liter container of paint. So remember now, we're going to work with what is left because we paint the room already and we're going to use the remaining paint to paint the bathroom. So we have to use like, the calculation that we're going to use now must be the, the amount that is left. So here we have the amount left for blue, amount left for red, amount left for yellow. And you are to now use two fifths of what is two fifths of a four liter container of paint. And we have done that calculation, similar calculations to that. How would we find out what is two fifths of a four liter container of paint? So remember that we can do our cross multiplication. So that means we're going to find two fifths of four liter. And how else can we write four liters? Because remember, two fifths is less than a liter, because you know, five fifths in this case would be one liter. So two fifths is less than a liter. So we need to find a Thank you, Raj Kajar channel, two fifths multiplied by 4,000 milliliter. So we're gonna have 4,000, and we can write it as a fraction by just putting it over one. So we're working with fractions here. So I'm not gonna work this as yet. I'm going to give you all a chance to go ahead, work this out and tell me how much paint we need to paint the red bath, the red wall or blue wall or yellow wall or whatever wall, but you can figure out how much paint is left, um, how much paint we need to paint each wall. So go ahead and work this out, how much paint we're gonna need to paint each wall. All right, so I'm seeing Jake one with numbers here, but I'm not seeing any units. I'm seeing a lot of persons with numbers, but no units. Remember, answers cannot be correct without its units. Jaquan Cyrus says 1,600 milliliters. So let me hear from the others. All right, so Alicia is saying the same thing. So is Rashawn Franklin. All right, I'm seeing Nathan Carter with a lovely explanation here via workout, 1,600 milliliters of paint. I'm seeing Ajib Biki, Ajib Bike Smith, 1600 milliliters of paint. Anifa, Phillips, Richard. I'm seeing a lot of persons. Sasha, right. Remember your answers if it has no unit on it. I mean, we don't know what you're talking about, right? So we must have our units there. I'm seeing um, Jalia. I'm seeing David Harvey. Lots of persons. Leandre Williams. Lots of persons saying 1,600 milliliter of paint. Awesome. So here we're going to say five into itself goes one time, and five into 4,000 goes 800 times. And we are left with just one times one at the bottom, but at the top we have two times this 800. So two times 800, I'm going to write it here. would give us 1,600 milliliters of paint. All right. So we all should have this workout here in our books. All right, so with that said, it says that each wall will take 1,600 milliliter of paint. We know how much paint is left over. Now we can go to the third point. 
So the third point says, so let me just erase this part at the bottom so we have enough space to work. The third point says though, Uh, let me just write a sentence here to say is each each wall will take 1600 milliliter of paint let me change that not each wall but each bathroom wall because we need to be precise as possible will take 1600 milliliter of paint it doesn't matter what paint it's going to take that amount all right, great job, guys. Great job so far. Thank you so much for working with me. So we have passed our second point. I'm just gonna go right ahead and I'm going to I'm going to just tick that off. We'll finish with the second one as well. So now we are at the part that says each wall All right, so the third point is saying that each wall will be painted solid yellow. Solid blue or solid red. So that means that one wall cannot have two different colors on it, nor three different colors, right? We can't say, all right, I like three different colors blend up and I paint one wall in all three different colors. No, the next, the third point tells us that each wall will be painted in solid yellow or solid blue or solid red. So remember we have those three paints. So with the calculation that we know that one wall will take 1600 milliliters of paint, Tell me what are some combinations that we can use now. So you're at that part. You're at that part where we need we can figure out the possible combination of wall colors that Randy could use to paint the bathroom. So it says now at least two colors of paint will be used in the bathroom. And if it says at least two colors of paint, it means that we can use two being the least amount. We can use three. We can use four. I mean, we can use whatever amount of paint but in this case we only have three paint so we can either use two colors of paint or three colors of paint but we can't just paint it in one all right it also said that some of each color of paint of the paint should be remaining after painting the bathroom so tell me what combinations of paint can we have all right so i'm waiting for that response what combination of paint can we have I'm seeing person saying red, but red is not a combination. It says at least two colors. So we can't use one color, right? All right, so Latoya says red and blue. And while I asked for the two different combinations, I needed to justify Latoya. And I'm seeing blue and yellow, red and blue. I'm seeing all those colors. But tell me, can you justify why do you say those colors? Why can we use red and blue? Prove to me that we can really use red and blue. Or we can use red and yellow. The colors that I see you, you post in here are blue and yellow. All right. So respond to me and tell me. Thank you, colleague. All right, so David Harvey is saying second combination is two red walls, one wall blue and another wall yellow. All right, but I'm not seeing anyone justifying their, their selection. Not seeing, all right, so I'm seeing Nicola Gale talking about a lovely purple, but remember now, 
Or even though red and blue might give us that lovely purple you're talking about, remember, each wall must have a solid color of yellow, blue, or red. So I see person saying red and blue, but I'm not seeing where persons are trying to convince me that we really can use those two colors. Definitely, Lisa Wallace, we can use two or three color paints. All right, so I'm, okay. All right, so a justification I'm looking for is this. So we know that we need, we're gonna, I'm gonna erase this part because we need somewhere to work. So we have passed this part already and we have written the sentence for that. So it said that each bathroom, we work out and we got that each bathroom wall will take 1,600 milliliters of paint. So since we know that, we first have to look at the amount of paint that we have left, which is right over here. See, we have this left for blue, this for red, and this for yellow. We have to look at the amount of paint that we have left so we know what we have to paint those, those walls. So can we get a painting, can we paint, can we get one wall to be painted out of the amount of blue paint left? We need to think about that. Can we paint one wall out of the blue paint? Can we paint two walls out of the blue paint? Can we paint one wall out of the yellow paint? Can we paint two walls out of the yellow paint? And if so, I want some explanations there. So go ahead, students, respond based on the facts that you have here. Respond based on the calculations you have been doing. All right. So you might say you have the combination. And I'm not saying we can't use those that combination. Remember, we have four walls. So go ahead and give us give me some justification here. All right, so every best, God bless, says red and blue because they are both equally. But I don't understand that. I need to see some calculations, guys. Calculations. So I'm seeing persons saying that we have the same amount. But what calculations do you have to say that? All right. So I'm seeing where Ashana Efai is saying blue and red because they have 3,625 milliliters left over each. But now we're in the bathroom and we said that we need 1,600 milliliter of paint. So, all right, let us think about that then. All right, so Enkoshi Garden says we can paint two walls out of all of them because 1,600 milliliter can fit into all of them twice. Now, I love your explanation. Now, I want you to be a little bit more precise though because I want you to say we can get 1,600 um, milliliters of paint out of the leftover amount of paint twice. So I don't want you to say out of them. We don't know what them is, all right? But I definitely love your explanation there. You're the closest to what I'm really looking for. All right, so I see Jalea says 3,625 milliliters divided by 1,600 ml. Awesome. So that is, these are some things that I want us to talk about. This is how we justify our answers. All right, so we need to check to say, all right, so we have 3,625 milliliters of blue paint left. So the same for red paint. And we have 3,250 milliliters of yellow paint left. So let us try to see how much wall we can paint out of the blue paint, how much we can paint out of the red, we can paint out of the red paint that is left, how much wall we can paint out of the yellow paint that is left. Now you would have done your calculations as I see some persons doing, and we would first want to divide 3,625 milliliters of paint by 1,600. So I'm just writing this here for some persons who are not yet seeing it to say, yes, we can try that out. Good way to think about it. Or we could do repeated subtraction. So we could try to subtract 1,600 milliliters of paint from one of the leftover amount 
and see if we can paint the whole wall. And if you really and truly did want to paint two walls blue, then you might want to subtract 1600 milliliter um, of paint again from the amount that is remaining to see if you can really paint two walls blue. Because some persons saying they want red and blue walls. So you would do even repeated subtraction to see if you are able to paint. And remember this last point says some of each color paint should be remaining after painting the bathroom. All right, so no, we cannot use one paint only. It says at least two color paint, at least two colors of paint will be used in the bathroom. So of course we can use red and blue. We can use red and yellow. We can use blue and yellow because when we subtract 1,600 milliliters from it, once or we can get it from it once or twice. So we can paint at least two walls out of the remaining paint that we have and some paint will still be left over. So that is the kind of justification I want here. So you need to show calculations here to show, okay, yes, I can paint two walls out of this leftover red paint or out of this leftover yellow paint. All right, great. So I want you guys now to ensure you have your calculations there in your book and you're able to write a sentence or two to explain your selection of your combinations. All right, so let us move along. So remember, take a screenshot of this if you need to need some more time to work it out on your own. And we're going to move on to the final part of this task. All right, so let me just clear what we have here. And let us move on to the final part of this task. So the final part says, yes, students, I'm seeing where you're doing a lot of calculations here. And for the most part, you guys are correct. But for those who would have made a little mistake or, you know, have some incorrect responses here, remember, you can always go back to the video and you can pause it and go at your own pace so that you can get your understanding. All right. So the fifth part, which is the final part, says Randy's daughter, Carly, wants Randy to paint two of the walls in the bathroom yellow. Randy says that this is not an option because of a description of the rules for painting the bathroom in number four. Now, is Randy correct? Do you think, do you agree with Randy in saying that we can't paint two of the bathroom walls yellow? Do you agree with Randy? Remember, you, you, you respond in a sentence. I agree with Randy, I disagree with Randy because I need to know what you're responding to. All right, so I'm seeing yellow and red. Yes, definitely, we can use any of the two, any of the three colors to paint. So we can use any two or three or so. Do you agree with Randy? All right, so Lena Bailey says Randy is correct. So that means Lena Bailey is saying that the bathroom, we cannot paint two walls in the bathroom yellow. That is what you're saying. All right. A lot of persons saying they're agreeing with Randy, but Jelia says she doesn't agree with Randy. So Jelia is basically saying then that we can't paint two of the bathroom walls yellow. So I want persons to send write a sentence to say why you agree or why you disagree. So you're gonna start the sentence. I agree with Randy because, or I disagree with Randy because. So you're justifying your answer. Right, I see where you're saying you agree or disagree with Randy, but you know, we need to justify. So you're gonna say you agree because, or you disagree with Randy because. All right, so Michael Johnson says, I agree with Randy because of the rules for number four, because he's following the rules to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes. Yes, but what part of the rule will make you, what part of the rule? Remember, we did some calculations and we had some discussion as well as to, you know, how to respond to the, the parts in number four. So that should really help you because we have answered this question already in our students. We have answered, we have justified that already. I want you now to give a sentence saying why you agree with Randy based on what is presented here, why you disagree. 
So I'm seeing Adrian Shaw saying, I agree with Randy, because if we use yellow only, half of the wall will be painted. Hmm, I'm not understanding right here. What did we say before? Did we say that the amount of paint left over, all of the paint, like the blue paint could paint, we could get two walls out of the blue paint painted and we could paint two um, walls red or we could paint two walls yellow because of the amount that is left and also because of the amount needed to paint one of the bathroom walls. Okay, so Leandre said that um, uh, I agree with Randy because the amount of yellow paint is not enough for two walls. Mackenzie says, I agree. I disagree with Randy because we had to use a minimum of two colors. All right, so yes, we have to use a minimum of two colors. Could the yellow be one of those two colors? Think about this. All right, so Michelle, I agree with Randy because according to the number four, you, according to number four, you cannot paint two walls yellow. You have to use more than one paint color. How many walls are we talking about? How many walls the bathroom have? So I'm just going to go right ahead here and I'm going to just use a rectangle to show the four walls that the bathroom has. So here we have the bathroom walls. Of course, it's represented like this, but I'm going to divide this now into four equal parts. I'll try to divide it into four equal parts so we can say what combination we could use. Let us see if we could really do two walls yellow. So we have already um, agreed that of the remaining paint, we could paint two walls from the blue, two walls from the red two walls from the yellow. So we now need to use that information to say, we now need to use that information to say whether or not we can paint the walls in, we can paint two walls yellow. So let me get a, some yellow paint right here. And I'm going to try to paint two walls yellow right here. This is one wall and I'm painting it yellow. We now need to see, after doing all of this, we now need to see if we are a, we, 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 um, we're going to be working by the rule in number four or not. So I've painted one wall yellow here and I'm going to paint a second wall yellow. So let me paint this one next to it. Of course, we can paint any one yellow, but I'm just going to paint this one next to it. Moving right along. All right. So we have painted two walls yellow. The rule says that we'll paint at least using at least two different color paint. So if I do two walls yellow, what color could I give this third wall? What color could I give the third wall? Let me see some answers in the chat. What color could we paint the third wall in? So we can definitely paint the third wall in red and we can definitely paint it in blue. <laughs> Hence the reason why exactly we could paint it in red or blue as Michelle said. So you, I realize that you guys, some of you are saying red, some of you are saying blue. We can paint in blue or red because we have that amount of paint. So of course we can paint both walls in blue. So if we paint both of these walls in blue, Based on the rule in, in question four, it says at least two color paints. We would have used at least two color paint here, correct? Yes, we could at least you we could have used at least two color paints. And we could have used red here and blue. So we could have one wall in red and one wall in blue, and the other two walls in yellow. That could work as well. Or we could have had these two walls in red. So definitely here, we, we must disagree with Randy because basically he's saying that we cannot paint two of the walls yellow. So here we have proved over and over using two yellow, two blue, two yellow, two red, 
two yellow, one red, one blue. So we definitely can use that. So we are disagreeing with Randy here. And we would go with Carly. We can paint two of the walls yellow. So because we have other paint to go around with the others. So this a picture is good for your justification as well. Right? And but you can't leave it as a picture. You need to write a sentence or two. So you're going to go back now to the rules in question four to come up with some justification for this. Boys and girls, I am really happy to have been here, you know, to be with you as we explore another performance task. And we're really at the end here. I want to encourage you to continue your practicing. Remember that we have about, um, for grade, grade five, we have about, say, three weeks or so, say, what date is this? We have about two, we have about three or so weeks um, for three or four weeks for, for your exam for the grade five students. And for grade four students, we have about six weeks. So any every chance you get, try to do some practicing. Try to explore even performance tasks on your own and come up with some reasons. When you're doing performance tasks, I'm encouraging you to always have a sentence, you know, to always justify what is going on. And for the grade six students who are here, the task that we would have just explored is also useful to you because it is helping you to build your reasoning skills. So now that we are at the end, students, I want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. All right, we're at the end. So bye-bye. Keep practicing and keep safe.